Hey guys, on my way to the gym in Costa Rica, I wanted to tell you about a book that I just read uh, by Elon Musk. Uh, well, it's not by Elon Musk, it's about Elon Musk. Um, the author is Vance, I think. It's a biography. Um, it tells a story about Elon Musk. For those of you who don't know him, he was one of the guys who sort of was initially behind uh, PayPal, X-Bank, um, which became PayPal. And then he started a company, uh, Tesla, which has electric cars. They're now available in Australia and most parts of the world. And he also has a rocket company um, that's, you know, sending satellites and rockets into space. His vision is to uh, put people on Mars and to colonize Mars. Uh, basically, he doesn't think that we're going to be able to change the whole climate there in the short term, but his idea is to kind of create uh, pods of, of life there so that if something really bad happens on Earth, then um, human, the human race will continue. Uh, so it sounds very sci-fi and a lot of the stuff that he talks about in the book is very sci-fi, uh, but the reality is that he's uh, gone about it and he's actually making a lot of crazy stuff happen that's already proved so many people wrong. He went into you know space industry where NASA was you know struggling financially and the Russians and Chinese were the, you know dominating sort of what's going on there in, in terms of sending stuff into space, um, but even still you know they weren't really uh, you know making any money or doing anything special. You know a lot of it kind of ended with the race to to the moon and you know the um, the Cold War and all that sort of stuff so Elon Musk uh, just learning about how he's running those two companies a bit about his personal life and his personality uh, how he deals with employees all that sort of stuff he's a very extreme guy and he's done something very extreme um, what I love about the book is that he's just set himself a task that everybody thinks is is ridiculous and impossible you know majority of people who've ever spoken to him about it think that you know there's there's no way it can ever happen um, to put people on Mars but you know he's already done so much stuff that seemed impossible by getting uh, tested off the ground and if you when you you know read the book you'll hear about all the troubles that he had to get that company off the ground it almost went bankrupt you know a number of times just like um, the story of McDonald's and um, the stories of you know Walmart Walmart was a little bit smoother maybe but they all had a lot of troubles in the beginning um, so it's really valuable to check out those stories and just um, yeah kind of put into context what what you're about and what you're after for me with real movement project um, it really makes me sure that we're on a good path with this, that Real Movement Project should set its ambitions in changing the way uh, humanity looks at itself. Rather than trying to put life on Mars, you know, the mission that I'm engaged with and that a lot of you guys are engaged with is uh, to be able to improve the quality of life for everyone who does exist here on Earth um, and to make life on Earth sustainable and practical. And rather than kind of forgetting and abandoning a big part of the population to you know, put life on another planet. You know, we have a beautiful planet here and one that can provide us with so much. We have these beautiful vehicles called the human body. Um, so the challenge is for us you know, to uh, help more and more people to, to see the amazing nature of themselves and the beauty of the world that we, we live on and to maximize our time here and maximize uh, life here. So by exploring our physical potential, this gives us opens up possibility to, to look further um, in terms of business. It opens up, you know, it makes us want to eat really good food. And if we want to eat really good food, then we have to grow really good food. Um, so that's, you know, going to change the way we treat the planet. We can only be as healthy as the planet we live on. So this is this is the the vision of Real Movement Project is uh, basically yeah to to save the world. You know to to improve the quality of life for everyone who lives here, to change the the values and um, limits that we impose and the things that we think of, uh, you know, that, that are definitely going to happen, um, you know, maybe aren't, you know, the destruction of the world, global warming, all these things, they're all trends that go with a certain mentality and there's a mentality, any mentality can be changed, any mentality can be altered uh, depending on, you know, it's, it's not a concrete thing, it's a fluid thing that goes along with the education that we have, okay, so if we can reshape education then we can change the way the world works and this is why Real Movement Project was started back in Costa Rica at the moment in Latin America, it's really reaffirming to me of why this stuff started, uh, my, my vision for this really began while I was backpacking through Latin America from 2006, it's now nearly 10 years later um, but things have progressed a long way and I do feel like um, our 
potential to, to make a bigger and bigger impact on the way the world works in a positive direction is, is definitely growing. I feel like uh, 2015, what's left of it, is going to see exponential growth and improvement in what we're doing. And I think 2016 is going to be the year that this project truly goes global and that you guys, uh, as important members of the project, are going to, uh, you know, really come into your own and, and, and take ownership of, of the component of this that, that you can uh, control and uh, really push this, this thing forward to make a massive impact on the way the world works. So Elon Musk, definitely a book worth checking out if you want to expand your vision of what you think is possible for yourself and if you're worried about what other people think about what your goals are. Okay, so we can dream a lot bigger, we can take things a lot further and the, the book is a great affirmation, reaffirmation of that truth. Talk to you soon, Keegan Smith, Real Movement Project.